Today we're going to energize this Solis 1 kilowatt with the inverter after putting all the necessary connections this 4G will be energized the sun is up it's around 9 and we're going to energize it now so starting with AC and then power DC connected now we're on first things first we're going to check its information so we have 168 volts IDC is not yet because it will wait for sync and the grid okay let's go for advanced settings okay standard first oh it's already PHL so we leave it at ease so we let this thing first run as a GTI no limiter yet we're going to set the limiter later we'll wait for it to sync just to make sure that it's properly running without any problem we can set the, the limiter later after we are satisfied or it reach its maximum potential on the PV I have 900 watts so if I see it that it was able to get a at least 700 to 800 watts and then we'll proceed on doing the limiter it's one way of knowing also that your inverter is properly running before setting any limitations to its functionality so we leave it at ease uh, let's have this thing configured first that it will sync and after that we'll wait good it's now generating six point something oh 
Okay. So at this point, we're going to enable the limiter. First, I'm going to put the grid off. Okay, it's off. And then we'll internal EPM set mode select on. Correct. So skip. Uh, let's check on the CT sampling ratio. Yeah, it's correct. So let's skip. Everything is okay. That's it. That's how easy it is for Solis to install your CT or enable your CT. Just make sure that your existing load is more than 500 watts. Because if it's not around 500 watts, sometimes it will turn an error. And it cannot detect. But on most cases, that should work. Status now is limited by EPM. It shows that what we did earlier works and how you properly energized your Solis grid tie. If you haven't seen the status in here that's limited by EPM, you have to recheck everything, especially your CT cable. Thank you.